Hey guys, Laura here. In this video, I'm going to share 10 Canva tips and ideas to try out. I'm sure that these tips and tricks will help you make the most out of Canva, no matter who you are, teacher, student, business owner, or content creator. Let's get straight to it. Shortcuts. Canva has this cool feature called magic. How you can find it? Simply tapping on slash sign, which should be located next to your shift button. So here you can see other shortcuts which Canva offers, like for example, top four of them, you can just simply tap on your keyboard any of these letters T, R, L or C just to get the right element. To generate text, simply tap letter T. And like always, you can change the text, you can change the size of it, you can change the color and just move it around and place it where you need it. To use rest of the elements, just simply press the slash button. So the next cool feature is for the text, you can apply effects and animation. Select your text and then go to effects. Here on the left side, you can see styles and also shapes. Choose the best style for you. And if you need, you can also curve your text as well. If you want to apply shadow for your text, just press on the shadow and then check out the offset, directions, blur and any other stuff. And if you want to shape your text, just press on curve, just move it around how you want it, make it smaller, bigger, rotate in which way you need it. But if you don't need any curves, just press none. If we go to animate, here you can see so many different animations. Just choose the right one for you if you need any. Next cool feature is that now you can quickly add your image. You can drag and drop your image straight from your folder. You don't have to upload anything anymore. And while we are on images, next cool feature is shadow effects. First select your image, then go to edit image. If you need to remove your background, just press on this button over here. I want to mention that this feature over here you can use only if you have Canva Pro. But the cool thing about Canva, they also offer 30 day free trial, so try it out. Okay, cool. Our background is gone. Now you can apply this effect. Before we apply shadows, let's change our background color. Okay, there you go. Now again select your image, go again to edit image and try to find out this shadow icon. In my case I used it before so that's why it's here, but in your case if you're trying this out for the first time, it should be somewhere here. Now let's go to our shadows and to apply white color around your image, let's go to glow. If necessary, then click twice on the glow icon. Here you can choose the color which you want to apply for your image as a border. I will choose the white one. Let's take off the blur. Transparency, let's take it to 100. And size of your borderline, it depends on your wishes. It can be quite big, it can be quite tiny. If you like the result, just apply the changes. I suggest go and check other shadow effects for your images. This is a really good feature what Canva can offer, so just play around and choose the best one for your images. Another cool feature in my opinion is sharing your design as a template with others so they can't mess it up. Go to share. Under the copy link button, there should be a template link button. Tap on it and just simply copy the link. Now you can share your link with whoever you need. Other cool feature what Canva offers is short video intros, which is great for YouTubers or other content creators. One of the coolest features in Canva, you can do talking presentations and record them. So first, create a design, type in presentation. In this case, I will choose from existing presentations Go to present, find present and record, click on go to recording studio. You will see your camera and mic settings. Choose whichever you want. You can use your webcam and audio or only audio for the presentation. 
and when you're ready press start recording and it will give you three seconds to start on the left bottom corner this bubble icon will appear where you can see your web camera is recording once it's done click on end recording and you will receive link that you can share with others create device mockups you can find them clicking on elements type in frames then choose the frame you need and here you go these mockups you can use as your marketing materials duplicating images so back to basics very useful combination for duplicating images is alt plus click and drag it to a new position or simply use good old ctrl c ctrl v if you find this video useful feel free to like and subscribe if you have any comments or suggestions leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Bye!